I haven't done any music-related posts in a bit, so I wanted to talk about one of my favorite genres, grunge. What is grunge? Well, it's a style of music as well as culture which originated in the late 80s in and around Seattle. It fuses heavy metal with the outlook of punk, but where punk was a warning, grunge is the aftermath. It was also a direct response to the tiring sound and party lifestyle of hair metal. There were a lot of grunge bands in the 90s, but four were considered to be what put grunge on the map. Today I will be ranking each of those four. They aren't necessarily my favorite of all grunge bands, but they are the ones most people know. Number four, Nirvana. Controversy right from the beginning. Nirvana is easily the most recognizable of all grunge bands due to their cultural influence and the high-profile nature of their members. You can't talk about Nirvana without mentioning their lead singer and guitarist, Kurt Cobain. His songwriting ability was really the crux of what Nirvana stood on. Of the big four, he might have had the weakest vocals, but his style sold the emotions of his writing and blended perfectly with the band. Nirvana's breakout album, Nevermind, is one that I've listened to a lot with their biggest hit, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Another song from that album is what I would say is my favorite of theirs, Come As You Are. Their drummer, Dave Grohl, has also gone on to tremendous success as the frontman of the Foo Fighters. Number three, Alice in Chains. Of the big four, Alice in Chains was the last one I came around to, mostly due to a lack of exposure. I was aware of songs like Rooster and Them Bones, but I didn't actively listen to them until much later. I wish I had found them sooner, however, as Lane Staley had some amazing vocals and Jerry Cantrell's guitar work is highly underrated, in my opinion. Their breakout was the album Dirt, which had the previously mentioned songs, and my personal favorite, Wood. Number two, Pearl Jam. The longest lasting of the big four, Pearl Jam has also seen the greatest variance in musical styles. Pearl Jam basically created the stereotypical sound of grunge, with many bands taking similar approaches such as Collective Soul and Stone Temple Pilots. Of the big four, Pearl Jam's frontman Eddie Vedder is the only one still alive. His vocals are quite different from the others, and are evocative of the fact that he isn't from Seattle like the rest are. Pearl Jam's drummer, Matt Cameron, doesn't come up in conversations as one of the greats, but he absolutely deserves to be for his work in Pearl Jam and in our number one band. Their album, Ten, is what put them on the map, and my favorite song of theirs is Jeremy. Number one, Soundgarden. If you've seen some of my past music posts, you might have heard me mention Chris Cornell as being my all-time favorite singer. He was the frontman and rhythm guitarist for Soundgarden. They probably had the heaviest rock sound of the big four, and that's likely due to starting the earliest, before grunge had fully established its sound. Their breakout album was Bad Motorfinger, and they followed that up with the even more popular Super Unknown. My favorite song of theirs, however, doesn't come from either. Black Rain, which was a later released song on their reunion album, Telephantasm, is my favorite. Each member of the band is extremely technically talented, none more so than Cornell with his four octave vocal range. These four bands are all incredible, and outside of Soundgarden being at the top, the rest could have easily swapped positions. They each bring something vastly different, which gives me a different vibe for whatever I'm looking for. Tell me what you think about grunge music, and which of the big four is your favorite. This is the end card, which means you've made it to the end of the video, so thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit like. If you want to see more, maybe hit subscribe.